I travel the world to save aviation history. Chasing planes has taken me from the sand hills of California to the forgotten hangars across America and even the frozen tundra of Russia. Welcome to my hobby out of control. We do a lot of filming projects at our Spirit of Flight Museum. It's a great backdrop for movies and documentaries. And we get some very interesting requests to support the film industry. One of those requests came from a writer director who walked in the museum one day looking for help on a survival movie. He needed a plane, not a flying plane, but a wrecked one that would be the star of his movie. We didn't have one at the time, but I told him that we'd add his request to the top of our wish list, and I put the word out to our network of Indiana Joneses to see what might pop up. It wasn't long until I heard from our friend Eric. He had found something on the wish list, and he's bringing it by today. Hey, what's going on, Gordon? What do you think? I think you got the number one thing on our list. I know where we found a 1960 Cessna 210, but it's pretty impressive. Dashed away in a hangar down in Southern California. And he drove freaking 14 straight hours? Yeah, we had some her? issues, about 16 and a half. <laughs> 16 and a half, oh my goodness. It's just something else, I can't believe it. It's a little rough, but I think it'll work. It's absolutely perfect. This is exactly what we needed for this project that we're working on here at the museum, and I'm blown away. I can't even believe you have it here. Wow. Do you have any idea how this thing got damaged? So it was actually being kept um, just to the side of his house, and a crazy windstorm came up, and it actually ripped it from its mounts and flipped it upside down and oh, okay. tossed it into the ground. Well, that's why that tail is, is bent like that. Yeah, I got pretty hammered. Yeah, but you know what? It's perfect condition for what we want to use it for. So way to go, Indiana Jones. You found a treasure. <laughs> Glad you like it. And you know what the best part is? This is the first type of airplane I ever flew that I ever owned. And here's another one. Now, mine is in a little bit better condition, but this is pretty perfect for what we got to do through this next project. I think it's an awesome little plane. I know your tight time schedule here. How about I help you unload this thing? Sounds good. Let's get after it. Cessna advertised the 210 in 1960 as a limousine for four. With retractable landing gear and 260 horsepower, it could fly 190 miles per hour and the high wing gave everybody a great view as a rode in style. Like a big model, we need to make sure all the parts are with the plane. These are called the struts. So this would have uh, actually gone up and held the wing up off the fuselage. So that's that area like right here where you're talking about. Right. So that's how that goes up. The newer ones don't have these. They're called full cantilever. And that's, I'd imagine the fuselage is a little different, so it's structurally more sound to be supporting that weight without those. This is vertical stab and the rudder. This right here is, these are actually called uh, the VOR localizer antennas. They point forward. But this is going to be so you can fly in instrument conditions, so it could actually help you localize you and keep you stabilized on an approach into an airport. And right up here, this is the, the strobe. This is the main beacon that would be on top of that. So you have positioning lights, left is going to be red, right is green on the wing, and then you've got a white or a red on the top of the tail. So that's completely missing because when it got flipped over, completely honked it up. This one's got some damage, just a little bit. All right, so it looks like some elevators here. I'll we'll take that guy. Oh, he took the tab. This is the trim tabs missing. Here's the horizontal stabilizer. So let's take it over there by these other bits, just like that. Let's keep going. Let's grab a wing. 
What does the motor weigh weight-wise? Eight, 900 pounds. For the film project, the plane needs to look complete, but we don't need the engine. Okay. Oh yeah, I see why you, you wanted me back here. Falls off, it's my fault. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm going down the ramp. Okay. I move a lot of airplanes, but this is precarious. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Is it gonna actually, I don't know if it's gonna make this ramp down the bottom. I don't know either. That is not the way I did it. Okay. I'll let's... tell you what, before we do it, I already know that tail's gonna get all up in the ground. Let's just try to spin it. Spin it how? On this deck, get it pointed the other way because then this, this will hit first and then the tail should clear everything. No, it, it can come down, but then let's spin it off of the, the ramp is what I'm saying. Oh, okay, kind of kick it one way? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. So it can come down, let's start lifting the nose. Okay. Okay, come, about ready to come down. Watch out, Gordon. You all right? Yeah. Holy moly, door kicked open. There you go. Good job. All right, so keep pulling. Slide it back. We're gonna take it inside the hangar now. I'm gonna go to the front. I can tell you one thing. For this project we're working on, this is gonna be a big setup, man. Let me tell you to get it up in the mountain. I think it's a good start. Spinner. Here's the, uh, it's called the spinner back plate. The tail comes. Yeah, that goes on the back. Here's your light. Yeah, so this is the rear strobe. Position lights, what that's called. Tail cone. Was this up when you no, got this? No, it it's always been dangling. The plane had definitely seen better days, but for what we need, it looks perfect. Oh, 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 oh. I see something. The engine cowlings, these are kind of important. The front cowling parts will hide the fact that the plane's engine is missing. So go over here, so. It should have a, a front nose bowl cowl also, but some of that stuff might be in the back. Mm. You're talking about these? Yeah, there's two pieces, great. Cool, so that goes up here. Mm -hmm. That. I guess with that motor not being in there, no prop, I just thought the wind was gonna take that. These are really nice seats, by the way. They had them stashed away somewhere. Wow. Armrest, baggage, oh look, you had some mice living in here. Awesome, ugh. Barn owl, something like that, all right. Good job, bud. Glad you like it. We got everything we needed to make a movie. 